it was really helpful to help us get to know each other better and to see the the coverage and the spread that we had through each of our different personality assessments and learning styles and, and coaching styles. So it showed us a really great plot of how our leadership team was spread across the board and maybe where we had blind spots or gaps that we needed to address. The biggest insight, I'm, which I'm sure you guys hear from a lot of your customers, were the daily coaching tips and just how insightful and spot on they were to people's personalities. I think for the most part my leadership team is very open to the insights that it brings and we're happy to see our, our blind spots or maybe just where we have a skill set gap in our leadership team that would help us round out that perspective so that we don't end up you know, with tunnel vision or group think in some way when we're making hiring decisions or strategic decisions. I think that we've, we've only seen positive feedback from, from using the software. So I really enjoy the insights that Cloverleaf brought to me and I, I will happily share those with any of my team or my boss and, and see, you know, do they agree? Do they see what the same things that the assessments see? And, and I think that the insights that it gave me were, were very spot on and things for me to keep in mind. It's like, you know, you may be a person who is very well organized and methodical in your decision making, but don't let that hold you back from making a decision. So it's just kind of a good, a good gut check. It gives you concrete guidance of one, how somebody likes to process information, two, maybe how to approach a difficult conversation. And I think it is just really more of a helpful guide that just makes those discussions more productive. I think the integration with Teams is huge. For me, that's, I think, one of the biggest ones because you might have meetings across the organization with folks that you don't often get to know one-on-one -on -one, or there might just be a name on the invite. So across an organization, if you if I have a meeting, say, with someone in finance that was just a name of someone I need to talk to about a particular data call or issue that I'm having, but I don't know them personally, I could go into Cloverleaf. If it's integrated with my teams and they've completed the assessments, I can see, oh, hey, you know, Steve in finance likes to have, you know, physical spreadsheets that he can look at to be able to assess an issue. So rather than talking through the, the data with him or talking through my issue, I could send those ahead of time so that I know that we're well prepared and I've given him the tools that he likes to have to make a decision. I think anytime you can have a visual, easy interface to gain some better understanding of yourself, your team, their motivations, their perspectives, how they approach work and personal life, all of that is really helpful information because the thing that makes the corporate world go round is building relationships, right? It's it's who can you connect with to help get things accomplished? Who can you connect with to help um, make your team as successful as possible? How do you build those connections for people that you might need elsewhere across the enterprise? And this tool gives you a lot of really helpful, tangible advice that you can use on a daily basis to help make that easier. Mm -hmm.